Good morning, students. So I just wanted to cover another underhand tossing activity that you can play at home. It's called one step forward, two steps back, tossing. So as you can see, you just need some type of object to toss. I'm going to use a splat ball. You could use a bean bag, you could use a paper ball, you could use, if you're playing outside, you could use a snowball if it's winter, or you could use a stone. Um, and then you need an object. I'm gonna pretend like this is a can or a stack of paper towels or anything that you can stand up and use as a target to try to toss at. So for underhand tossing in this game, um, we're working on underhand tossing for accuracy. And we're gonna start five steps away. So I gotta measure using my heel. One, two, three, four, five. And you could use anything as a spot marker. You could use a stuffed animal. You could use a piece of paper. But the important thing is you need something to stand on. We're gonna tick, tock, and underhand toss. And I wanna try to hit the target. So what happens if I miss? Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna step, tick, tock, toss. Oh no, I missed. So the game's called one step forward, two steps back. If I miss, I have to take one step forward. So now I measure one foot and I put my spot a little closer. And you can see it right here on the floor, it moved about a foot closer. Okay, so now I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna stand on my spot, I'm gonna bend my knees, I'm gonna hold my object, whether it be a paper ball or whatever you're using, I'm gonna step, tick, tock, toss. Yes, I got it. So now if I hit it, I get to take two steps back. So now I count one, two, and I move my spot back. Okay, let's reset it. And remember, this is a fun way you can work on underhand tossing in your home. You could challenge a brother and sister or mom and dad, grandma and grandpa. So each of you have a piece of paper. And what you're going to do is you're gonna step, tick, tock, toss. Yes, I got it. So now I gotta go one, two steps back. And if I was playing with a partner, then they would try. So if you're playing with a partner, it's to see who can go the farthest away or back from your target. Okay, so now I'm back even further. Okay, I got a step. Don't forget the basics. Bend, tick, tock, toss. Whoa, I'm on a roll. One, two. So as you can see, as you're more successful, you get to move back further. And it becomes more challenging the farther we move. Okay, I'm gonna try again. Step, bend, tick, tock, toss. Oh, I miss. So now I would go one step forward. So it's a really fun game. Mr. Young used to play this with his brother all the time when he was younger. And I hope it gives you an idea to practice your tossing at home. Have fun playing. We'll see you soon.